Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello, hello, and welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway in America for the funniest thing in transatlantic comedy since TWA last published their financial results. But improvising tonight, we have, first of all, the most uh, talented person I've ever met called John Sessions. John Sessions. And joining him from Los Angeles, the crazy world and crazy red buttons of Archie Hahn. Also from Los Angeles, LA must be empty tonight, we welcome Ryan Stiles. And finally, actor, singer, poet, and performer rolled into one and a half, Mike McShane. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants. <laughs> oh dear, right, so, uh, got to get on because we've got a lot, lot to get through tonight. Now, the first game we're going to play is called Film and Theatre Styles. Uh, can we bring down John and Archie, please? What they're going to do is going to make up a little scene. I'm going to give them just a moment. But I'd like people in the audience, if you would be so kind, to suggest some film or theatre styles that they could break into as we go along. Westerns. Western, that's a good, good straight... Lap Lapstick? Oh, slapstick, sorry. The lap, I thought you were a Lapland comedy or something. That's Great, great man of dog films. <laughs> and Shakespeare, I recognise. A great man of dogs film. No, I never get anything else. Great man of dog. Martial arts. Yes, we've got, got enough there, I think. I think. OK, now your little scene is, uh, Archie, you're trying to join the Merry Men, and John is Robin Hood. OK, that's a little, no particular style at the moment. We'll crack into some later. So I see that you've got triangular cuts around your pants instead of square ones. Well, I come from the south end of the forest. <laughs> You have a problem, though. You have a pointed beard, but your hair isn't curled up at the back like James Tyrone. I could change. You could. <laughs> can't, can't wait for that to develop anything. Uh, let's have uh, Shakespeare. Come, my lord, here often, even to the greenwood we will go. Faith, like two trivets, we will dance in the sky of my hope. And here is something incomprehensible. There are two doits that are yet coits upon the face of it. And there, that be the chance on. Aye, my lord, I would follow thee. Oh. I would point my arrow into the direction. I would disappear into the grove of sycamores and whack away at my own inches for thee. Aye. <laughs> but a sycamore, is, a sycamore is but a you, and a you is true to you, and indeed to myself, and indeed to the lady that she comes to it again. Aye. Okay, let's, uh, let's go into slapstick. I'm going to bend over now. <laughs> <laughs> you must be made Marion. <laughs> well, let's do some sort of dog film. Yaller, yaller, come here, boy. I know I'm overfed on Sarah Lee cakes, but come and talk to me for a bit. <laughs> yeah, you got teeth nearly as big as I have. The dog's me and deaf. The dog is deaf. <laughs> He's not deaf. He's not deaf. I spoke to him yesterday. I recited him some of Thornton Wilder's Our Town. He's coming home. I know he is. Back I got to my friend. Thirty-six freckles. dollar dog whistle and the dog doesn't come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not waiting for a dog to come. Well, and uh, we're we're having uh, martial arts, please, to end with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 thank you, thank you, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, uh, you're lowering the tone of the show early on. I'll give you uh, 69 points each. Now we go on to a uh, game, uh, for, you know, Mike and Ryan now for Film and Theatre Styles. Come on down. I'll give you a little scene in a moment. Uh, some more styles, though, please, audience. Musical, right, heard that. What was that mumbly one at the back there? Ballet, oh great, yes. Um, uh, <laughs> horror, yes. I think I think ballet is a bit of a horror with these two, but uh, what was that? Cartoon, cartoon. Wow, there's that came in stereo, that's fantastic. <laughs> Which is pretty clever, I must admit. Okay, that's it, that's it. We're here all night just getting these. Uh, we're better than going home, I suppose. Now, uh, the uh, the scene I'd like you to do is one of you is broken down in an, in your car, and the other one is passing by and offering to help. That's a little scene, very straightforward. Where you go? <laughs> Stuck? Yeah, it's these damn Japanese imports. They never seem to run oh. when you want, you know. <laughs> go ahead and put it. Go ahead and put it in my trunk. I'll give you a ride to the gas station. Do you mind? Yeah. Oh, that's I great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Get on in. <laughs> Horror. I'm glad. <laughs> 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 I 
foolish man driving an import. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know what break down. A TMW is what you need. I should have bought American. I'm sorry. You should have bought Transylvanian Motor Works. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Okay, let's switch to cartoon. Hey, look at him now. Wait. Wait. Oh, there's the problem. You have a cat in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I can postpone it no longer. Ballet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, let's end there. Uh, okay, let's end there. We're, we're finished there. Thank you. Thank you. That's qu we're finished there when most of your bodily parts are still functioning. <laughs> oh, I've got to give uh, double points for those two there. That was excellent. Now, right uh, now we come to a game called Song Styles, and step forward, Mike McShane. He's going to make up a song on the spot about a subject of the audience's choosing, with the assistance of Richard Ranch at the piano or any other musical instrument he may need. Uh, can you think of something or suggest something that you might take with you on uh, what we call holiday in England or on a vacation? Suitcase. Suitcase. Well, that's that's uh, very straightforward. So away you go. Make up a song on the subject of suitcase. Oh, but we need a style, don't we? So a song, a style of singing. <laughs> Tor Does Torch Song uh, specify a style for you? Sure. Can I have a stool for this? I don't know. It depends what you're going to do with it. But uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, so a Torch Song, whatever that is, about suitcase. Where you go, Mike. All right, buddy. It's a little song for all the travelers of the heart. Thank you. I've searched everywhere, below and above, and everywhere I've gone, I've always been alone until I met you. You were red, white, and blue. And just like me, you were empty inside. You needed to be filled, holding on your handles give me such a thrill American tourist you're my American tourist excellent excellent yeah Woo. oh yeah excellent 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 yeah. all right <laughs> yeah oh dear well there it is Oh, I'll well, make a million points of that, seems fair enough. And now we go to a game called Sound Effects. This is going to feature Ryan and Archie. Uh, Ryan is going to act out uh, an everyday scene, and Archie is going to provide the sound effects for it by using that microphone I've just given to him. When I say an everyday scene, can you suggest some piece of everyday activity you might do around about the house? <laughs> Travelling, on the... Travelling on the train is a good suggestion. You can start at home and get to... Well, it's not a particularly good suggestion, maybe. But, uh... Yeah, going on the train, so... You... Subway. Uh, subway, train, and... Your attention, please. Your attention, please. 
the subway is now out of service. Okay, thank you very much. Settle out like there. Really good. Uh, well, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, well. All action for a nine point feature. Now we're going to a game called, uh, what's it called? Yes, World's Worst. It's going to feature all four contestants. They'd like to come forward to the World's Worst step. And they're going to step forward just as they think as of examples of the World's Worst person to share an apartment or a flat with. Uh, when I get the idea of each uh, suggestion, I'll uh, buzz. Uh, take it away. <laughs> what's rent? <laughs> You know, I can recite all the English cricket averages from 1910. Now, where's it begin? 1910, it's, it's a savage. Uh, just uh, lately, I haven't been feeling that. <laughs> well, I just hope you don't mind my pet chickens. We have a little ballet troupe we like to work out on Friday nights with. Yeah, hi. I got a couple of my friends who want to live with me, too. Is that all right? Uh, we'll share the rent, all the responsibility. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe that washing causes the body not to be as real and happy as it ought to be. So when I. Hi. Oh, you're gorgeous. <laughs> I rather like that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I eat all the food. So what? I was hungry, huh? You got a problem with that? <laughs> okay, let's end there. Thank you very much. Um, while I work out the, the points, while I work out that points uh, for that last game, we have to take a little break for some commercials. See you after that. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Oh, welcome back. Um, well, a shame about no points being awarded that last game, but we're now going to another one, which is called Props. They divide into pairs for this. First of all, John and Ryan. I'm going to give you this. Now, with that item, you, you have to come up with as many different ways of using that item as possible. Well, at the same time, uh, Mike and Archie, you're using this thing. So I'll buzz between the two pairings, starting with you, John and Ryan. Where you go. Hello, Ryan. Um, Death's scythe is made of metal, so... Uh, I'm not actually deaf, because mine is made of plastic. I'm just feeling a little bit ill. And here we have a good example of a pterodactyl. <laughs> Swim, John! Swim! <laughs> Swim to the boat! <coughs> That's great, but how do you turn it down? <laughs> I'm sick of bloody Fruit Loops, all right? You eat them. <laughs> When you go to a comedy club, wear the insult-proof vest. <laughs> I went to London, right? I went to the Tower of London. And this asshole gave me this axe to chop off Queen Mary Queen of Scots' head. I said, what if I put it around the neck and just twist the head off of her? <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, did you see those guys in concert when they broke that scythe on stage? Oh, <laughs> <you're right. laughs> okay, let's end there. Thank you very much. Um, yes. Very good. Oh dear, oh dear. That's, uh, oh, I'm afraid no points there to John uh, for, that's added at least a dollar to the budget of this show, which is, uh, oh, not very popular. Well, let's move on to another game, which is called Audition. This features Ryan Stiles as the director of uh, a new um, production. The others are going to be coming on auditioning uh, for a part of this new production. Uh, we can't bother to think of a title for this, though. We like to combine two old titles. So if somebody got their favourite movie, their favourite film, they'd like to suggest. Greece. That's your favourite film, is it? Wow. Um, what's that? Dead Poet Society. Okay, so it's the it's the dead. Well, we've got enough now. What was the last one there? Godfather. Okay. Okay, that's good. The it's the well, nothing really Wonka. I'll tell you that. Uh, the uh, it's the dead uh, greasy Godfather Society. That's the uh, that's the production you're making, and you audition the people as they come on down. I think John's first. Get the lights fixed. Get the lights fixed first, then we'll talk. Next, please. Can I have your name, please? Oh, Tony Zando, method actor. Tommy Zando. Tommy, you were in here auditioning last year, weren't you? Yeah, so what? Well, I just, uh, it's nice to see you again, as all I was saying. Tommy, uh, I gather you've read the script? No, I didn't read it. I looked at it, and I imagined what it would be like to feel it, you know. All right, I'd like you, imagine, if you will, Tommy, the greasy godfather calling his two sons in. I'd like you to play all three parts, if that's okay. possible. Okay, no, sure, can we go back? 
back a moment here. You know, I mean, have I somehow got to, have I got to make them what kind of grease? Are we doing them in corn oil or what? Any type of grease you'd like. Okay. Father. Father. Godfather. I'm not there yet. I'm nearly there. <laughs> Feel my pain. You asshole! Thank you, Tommy. Not about yeah, that. Thank good. you, Tommy. Thank you. Right. Next, please. Next. Nice. Your name, please. Hi, yes. My name is Heine Buffet. Heine Buffet? Yeah. Heine, what are you uh, currently appearing in? Uh, I'm doing an off-off, off-off, off-Broadway production of Rear Window. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, honey, I, uh, have you had a chance to look at the script? Oh, just briefly. There is dancing and singing in this? There is. Uh, I want you to do the, uh, the dancing part when the Godfather discovers the greasy horse head in the bed. If you could do the greasy horse head dance for us, please. Greasy horse head dance. And it's a one, tempo, a two, is it? A one, two, three, four. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, Tommy, very much. Next. Next, please, your name. Sir, your name? Uh, 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 Bob Zoom. Bob Zoom. <laughs> Welcome, Bob. Bob, have you a chance to look at the script? There's a script? Yes, Bob. <laughs> All right, the Bob, I'm sure you've seen, uh, well, the movie, uh, the stage production of the movie. I'd like you to sing the, uh, the Godfather uh, dying song, if you wouldn't mind. Dying in the Rose Garden song. Okay. <laughs> Come here, little Zito. This flower is like our family. Many petals, but all together, you see. That is why we wear it in our lapel when we send those dirty bagnettes to hell. You got the job, Bob. You got the job, Bob. You got it. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Yes. Well, now, that uh, radically excess, uh, affects the scoring was Archie Hahn, who'd been penalized 500 points there for bringing on an unauthorized prop to do the tap dancing with. That's, uh, it's improvisation, not forward thinking we want here. Uh, so let's uh, move on to another game, and this is called Helping Hands. This is going to feature Mike McShane. If you'd like to come on, Mike. He's going to be acting with Ryan. Uh, Ryan, get over there. But to make it easier for Ryan, uh, Archie is going to be uh, providing the hands for Ryan to act with. You can just insert your hands in the traditional way for this game. Okay, now the uh, Ryan Archie creature, you are to play um, a customer in a restaurant or something, making a complaint to the waiter, and Mike is the waiter. Mm -hmm. So, away you go. Table Excuse six me. wants me? Fine. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yep. It's this soup here. This soup, I ordered the soup 10 minutes ago and, and well, taste it. It's cold. It's entirely cold. Taste it. Go ahead. It's freezing cold. It's gazpacho, idiot. <laughs> I'll have another bowl, please. <laughs> Tell me, uh, I, I, did we not go to school together? We not played football together? I was a quarterback and you were... Ted Zimmerman. Ted Zimmerman. Ted? Yes, how have you been? Oh, my God. Oh, there. How oh. are you? Join me then, huh? Hey, let's have the secret handshake, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, hey, 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 hey. You look great. The gangs are just our underwear. Whoa, man, I'll tell I'm you. I'm still wearing that jock strap. You don't. I haven't took it off. You remember when we put Nair in it after that oh. game? Get out of here. Get out of here. We called you Baldy for a month. <laughs> You remember the cheerleaders on the side there, the cheerleaders? Are, go, boys, go. Do it straight. Do it now. Don't hesitate. Say it. Chuck a lucky, 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 lucky. Remember that? Boom, boom. Yeah. Great. Okay, let's end there. Thank you very much. Uh, that's good. Uh, that got extremely complicated. I'd rather end it there before he touches gazpacho again. And uh, we're good. <laughs> 49 points to everybody now. Now we'll do a game called Film Dubbing. This is for Ryan and Archie. If you'd like to come down, we can see the monitor. And what you've got to do is add a new soundtrack to an old piece of film from which the original soundtrack has been removed. Uh, and I'll give you a little story. It's fairly basic to this film. You're waking up somewhere strange. That's what you're doing. Waking uh, when up the, somewhere strange? Strange. Waking up somewhere strange. And start when the film starts, which should be any second about now. My God, an optometrist office. Yes. Yes, Tim, it's an optometrist office. I opened it while you were asleep. 
<laughs> I, I can't even read this paper. How am I supposed to read that chart on the wall? Well, keep trying. But these aren't working. Yes, they are. Try it again. All right, I will. <laughs> yes, yes, now I can read. Well, you know, it was funny. I had this dream, and it occurred to me that I would want to... Was I in it? Was I in it? Yes, of course you were. <laughs> yeah, uh, you were, you were. Why don't you maybe come over here? All right, let me get up and put my coat on and go to the bathroom. That's my coat. Hey, that's my coat. I'm... Yes, I'm... I'm going to take a dump in it. Do you mind? Okay, let's end there. Let's, uh... Oh, yes. 40, 40, um... 47 and a quarter points there. And now we come to a game called Gospel. This will feature all four contestants who will be making up a song on the spot. A gospel song, in fact. So if you'd like to come down, uh, ready to do that. And, uh, well, let's have it about somebody's job or profession. Uh, not something like a lawyer or teacher, but some... M milkman. Oh, that's a good one. I think we've had, uh, we've, we've done lawyer quite often. Milkman. The Lord said you got a place a little bit of gold on your top. He said you got a place a little bit of gold on your top. You can have a gold, silver, and a green and red at Christmas, then you can reach the mountain top. Yeah, yeah, can reach the mountain top. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, what's the best darn food on earth? Milk, milk, milk. What's the best darn fabric in the world? Silk, silk, silk. If you don't drink your milk, you can't wear your silk later on. Hey, hey. Just like butter. <laughs> it just don't show up in the store. You gotta go squeeze some butter. <laughs> oh, everyone likes milk, even Sonny Bono. As a matter of fact, I think his favorite is homo asa. Oh, I'm talking milk. <laughs> yeah, oh, I praise Jesus. I made it through another day. The sun is shining. I'm all right. The sun. The sweet milk and the love of Jesus. I take the milk and I pour it on the conflicts of my life. Okay. Ah, I take the sweet cream of Jesus. Well done, and that's, um, <clears throat> that's the very last game, I'm afraid, and totaling out the points, I see to you a last-minute change in the exchange rate. John Sessions is this week's winner. Well done, John, and the uh, prize, prize for winning, the prize for winning is to read the credits in the style of my choosing. I like uh, John to do it in the style of Phil Silvers or Bilko. Uh, just remains for me to thank uh, John Sessions, Archie Hahn, Ryan Stiles, Mike McShane, Richard Branch of the Pianos, and me, Clive Anderson, saying good night. Good night. <laughs> No, no, I've asked you to come in here. No, come on, sir. You must understand this poor, misguided child standing there, his father coming towards him, tears running down his face. No, you don't understand, Doc. Oh, I'm trying to organize the whole sequence here. We've got the title sequence by Steve Benderlick. Steve Benderlick, such a lovely child. Beautiful, cheesy, cheesy faces. I know, I understand. Videotape editor's mother's got a Polish name. Well, clearly makes good dinner. Costume designer, Catherine Mayer. Production accountant, Deborah Forward. Production secretary's Carol Toby Dune Google. No, I'm being the colonel, because the colonel's got a higher rank. Production manager, Evan Hartley. Lighting manager, Joe Mayer. Designer, Graham Story. Director, Chris Bowles. Executive producer, Denise O'Donoghue. Producer, Dan! <laughs>